What is up, you guys? Me again. Um, a lot of people um, don't believe in a, a pre-trib rapture because the Bible doesn't indicate anything about a secret rapture, about a rapture that is secret, about uh, you know, uh, the Bible does mention um, that we will be caught away in a, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. Uh, that it, so, but here's the thing. That's the rapture. But, it isn't a secret. How is the rapture a secret? Uh... uh <clears throat> The, the rapture is, uh, before the rapture happens, there's going to be a humongous trumpet blast in the sky. Millions of angels are going to light up the sky with trumpets. And Jesus Christ will be in the sky in all of his glory, with fire, with all his glory, his all of his majesty, um... And all the angels of heaven in the sky. So how can that be a secret that even the dead will be able to hear the horn? Even the people who are deaf will be able to hear the horn. Every eye will see him. Even the blind, the people who are blind on earth will see Lord Jesus Christ in the rapture they will be able to see him standing with all the angels in the in the sky they won't be blind anymore or if they are they they will be able to see that it's it's only somehow that God made it possible um to see that when they're blind but um they will even the people who pierced him on the cross will see Jesus. Every single eye will see him. That doesn't mean, though, at the exact same time. Jesus is coming worldwide. And his the rapture is going to be worldwide. He'll be in the he'll be coming in the sky and he'll rapture everybody up. Like it'll be in like immediate, like in less than a twinkling of an eye. Quicker than that. Um, in every country, um, so it won't be immediately, like, it won't be every country in the world at the same time. The rapture could be happening right now in another country, and it will be here, like, in a couple hours or tomorrow. It, that's that's I'm that's the example that that's what I mean when I say give that example. Um, but every eye will see him, even the people who are unsaved will see him, and then they will they'll think back and be like, I should have believed what my par parents were saying, what my siblings were saying, what my loved ones were saying, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my children, the Bible, but I never believed any of it. And now I missed the chance to get raptured. It's happening right there in the sky. And I missed the chance because I had unbelief in my heart. Because I didn't believe something so simple. That is what people are going to say when they're, they're left behind. There are going to be more people who are left behind than the people than there will be people who are being going to be raptured. And that's the ter terrifying sad news right there. Um, and guess what? This this next thing I'm going to tell you is extremely insane. People are still going. To, people are going to see all this stuff happening in the sky. They're going to see all the facts. They're going to see all the proof that God Himself is real. That Jesus is real. That heaven is real. Eternity is real. And they're going to see all this stuff going on in the sky. And guess what? They are still going to refuse 
to repent and to give glory to God the Father and to receive Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, they're still going to refuse to get saved. That's even worse. That's To me, that's even worse than... Then, um, you know, that's, that's, that's really, that's, I don't know what, how, like, I don't know, um, yeah, you know, sorry, I, I don't know what it's worse than, but it, it's got to be worse than something. It's, it's got to be bad that if somebody sees all the truth, they, they know the truth, they see the truth right in front of their eyes with their very eyes instead of believing it with their heart while not seeing it. Like that's how we're saved right now. Um, Jesus saves us. He says, uh, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. So we're blessed those who believe without seeing. But there's going to come a time where people are going to see what is going on. And they're still going to refuse to get saved. To me, that's insanity. They know hell is real. They probably know how horrific it is. They know it lasts for all of eternity, endless torment. And they're still going to choose to stay in their sins. How does a person do that? I have no idea how to explain that. They, I don't know. I don't know how somebody can do that. Know the existence of hell, and how bad and terrible it is. And they're they're just they know how horrific it is, and they're they're just like. Oh, I, I, I don't care until I'm there. I'm going to stay in my sins until it's my time to go to hell. Then I'll worry about it. And guess what? Once they're there, they're going to regret that for every single second, for all eternity. And once they're there, they can't leave. There's no leaving hell. Well, there is. Um, everybody in hell, all the inhabitants and the demons as well in hell, um, are going to be removed from the current hell, which is in the center of the earth right now. Bill Weiss, 23 minutes in hell, says, mentions. Um, and they're going to appear before the Lord at the great white throne judgment. And then them and death and Satan and demons and hell are going to be all thrown into the lake of fire. And that is going to be their final eternal judgment. So, but seriously, you guys, how can a person remain in their sins knowing the truth? A person right now remains in their sins because they don't believe in God. They don't believe in heaven. They don't believe in hell. They have some kind of peace with themselves and with sin because they don't believe that there is judgment for their sin. They have some kind of a, a peace with it, which is really wrong. Um, but they they do because they're like, I can do what I want and I'll get away with it. Uh, as long as I don't do something illegal. Like then the earth, the earthly people won't arrest me. But um, they don't know, they don't believe God is real. So in other words, they don't believe that they'll be held accountable for their sentence. And they are have they have some kind of a piece of that. Um, and they stay attached to them. But there is going to come a time, again, I'm mentioning for the 50th thousandth thousands time, that people will see the truth right in the sky at the rapture. When the people are getting caught up, the people on the earth who are left behind will still be, will see, will be able to see Jesus in the sky and all the angels. The only difference with them, they're not going to be caught up. They'll see him, but they're not going to be caught up. They're going to have to stay behind for the seven-year tribulation. Uh, they'll have a chance of salvation during that period, yes. But I believe it will be a lot harder because of the Antichrist with the mark of the beast and blah, 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 blah. Um, and uh, they're going to have to get their heads chopped uh, for Jesus. 
they're going to have to get beheaded or sawed in half or something like that. If they don't receive the mark of the beast, they are going to they will be put to death. And if you get put put to death without receiving the mark of the beast, you will be saved and go to heaven if you believe in Jesus Christ. But it will be very very hard because ever many people, more people during this time will be deceived than the people who aren't deceived. So there there's going to be less people there's going to be more people deceived than there are that aren't. So it will be very difficult for people to get uh, saved. And it will be a very convincing time. The Antichrist will be very convincing. And he's going to have miracles. He's going to uh, call uh, a rain of fire down from heaven. Um, people will bow and worship to him, thinking that he's Jesus. But if they if they know their Bible... It doesn't say Jesus is going to be out there in a world somewhere. Jesus is in the sky. So that isn't Jesus Christ If uh, when that happens. And when, when they worship him, then they're going, the Antichrist, then they're going to receive the mark of the beast. And that, is, that marks their eternity separate from God. God. Um, so when this time comes, if you get left behind, when this time comes of the Antichrist and the Mark of the Beast, let me just tell you, if you refuse the Mark and you have faith in Jesus Christ, make him your Lord and Savior, and, and get sentenced to death with never receiving the Mark of the Beast, you will go to heaven. But if you don't, if you if you don't get sentenced to death and do receive the mark of the beast, prepare for eternity in the lake of fire, because that is the only judgment upon those who receive the mark. I hope you guys enjoy.